One year ago, my Saturdays consisted of a morning jog, four hours of door knocking to speak to voters, a quick snack, and then four more hours door knocking. I'd get home sweaty, tired, grab a quick bite to eat, and go to bed just to do it all over again the next day. I was in the fight of my life, in my first political fight. I was challenging a long-term, iconic, powerful Boston politician. He was a good man with tremendous values, a man who I admired, who I had worked for. And I never in my wildest dreams I thought I'd run against him. But 2016 was different. Donald Trump was elected, and a new wave of urgency had crossed over this country, including me. Now, I can remember going to meet with him. I was scared. I was anxious. After the meeting, I was in a complete daze. I went home, got in bed, and I was thinking to myself, what in the hell did I get into? And sure enough, people all across the city and the state called me with the same exact thing. But two things kept me going. For one, I knew my community needed change. My neighborhood had been ravaged by an opioid epidemic. Voters were looking for more engagement from their elected leaders. And I knew I needed to do something. And secondly, I knew it had it in me. Deep down in my core, I knew I could do it. Because I, like the rest of you in the room today, we were born in this struggle. We thrive, we survive, we persist, because it's in our DNA. So I knew it had it in me. You see, I decided to run for office because I've always been committed to public service. Even long before I even cared about politics, I had given my life to serving my brothers and sister. For two years, I had worked in the Peace Corps without running water, without electricity, to serve my brothers abroad. When I got back to the States, I signed up and I took an oath with the armed forces, forces and became a captain in the Army Reserve. And as some of you know, I still serve my community as an emergency room doctor at Boston's busiest trauma center. These experiences, thank you. These experiences changed my life. They gave me strength, resilience. They taught me that we could and deserve more. But they also challenged me. I made a lot of mistakes along the road. I learned through trial and error, but I took all these lessons, I cobbled them all together, and I applied them to this political challenge. And we were, it was like a heavyweight bout. And over the course of a year, we were lucky enough to win on September 4th. It was a day that I'll never forget. Because we won that state rep race, which I had thought about and I would cried about for a whole year. And so as we move forward to January, and for the last six, seven months we've been in office, to fight for that progressive change, because we need that progressive change. Because as an emergency room doctor, I know what's going on in my hospital, and I see why my patients come to the emergency room every single day, and it's because of what's going on in their communities. It's the racism, the sexism, the poverty, the lack of health care and educational opportunity that ultimately will manifest into life-threatening occurrence. And that's what happens when they come to see me in the emergency room. So I'm tired of telling the elderly man, listen, you're going to have a stroke, you're going to have a heart attack, if you don't take your medications. But he's telling me I can't afford my medications. I'm tired of reviving another opioid use disorder when I can't have a safe place to send him or her. And I'm tired of seeing another poor black and brown man with shots roll through his chest because he lacked the educational and economic opportunity that some of us in this room have. I ran for office because of my patients and because of my community. And I'm in office today because I learned from my lessons in public service, I dared to dream, and I trusted my instincts. So Amplify, will you dare to dream? Yeah? Yeah? Got a couple questions. Will you take up that challenge that you've been thinking about, and will you attack it with all 100% earnest? Yeah? Will you be bold? today, tomorrow, and the next day? 
Because if you are, I'm with you 110%. My name is John Santiago, and this is how I amplify.